and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a full set of acrylic on my mum. So she did actually have on a full set of Magpies Perfect Poly before I did this set. Um, I filed that all down to pretty much nothing, um, but literally just filed down to the tips that she had on before. Um, just so we could do a set of acrylics because that's what my mum gets on best with. Um, so here I'm just showing you how I apply my acrylic. This nail didn't really go very well because my room was a lot um, colder than I could obviously feel it to be. So the acrylic wasn't setting very fast. Um, I had to manipulate it quite a lot to keep it where I wanted it. So I'm just going to show you how I do two nails and then just speed up a little bit um, throughout the rest. So it's quite a quick video. Um, the design wasn't particularly difficult it was just we didn't really know what we were even going with to be fair um she just said she wanted purple and she likes marble so we just went with it really and just seen what we ended up with um we were both happy with them at the end so that's all that matters um and yeah so obviously i will talk you through what i'm doing throughout the video i hope everyone is okay um and I'm getting on top of doing regular videos now. It's not really the filming of the videos that I'm struggling to find the time to do. It's more the editing and actual uploading because I don't know if anyone else is listening that has a YouTube channel, but YouTube hates me lately. Like, I don't know why, but every time it comes to uploading something, um, it just takes ages to upload and then it'll abandon it like halfway through or yeah, it just won't upload for some reason. And then I have to do all over again. And it does upload that time, but I have to find the time to upload something twice instead of just once, which is really frustrating. But there you go. If anyone's got any tips for that, then please throw them my way because it's starting to really, really annoy me. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just finishing off applying the acrylic to all the nails at this point. I do spend quite a lot of time applying my acrylic, um, mainly just because it means that I have to do very, very minimal filing. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just going in with a sanding band. This is a fine sanding band from Willow Academy. Um, uh, so it's a 240 grit and I just use that to gently go over the nails. I use a 240 grit because I don't have to do a lot of refining. Um, obviously, like I just said, I do spend a bit of time doing my actual acrylic application, which means that filing is minimal and then after this stage which I don't think I actually showed I do just quickly go in with a hand file and do the shape um, just to refine that a little bit more because I can't really do a coffin shape with a sanding band so I'm just showing you here what colours I'm going to be using we're just going to do obviously like I said we really didn't know what we were going for so we used come what may as a wet layer and then just kind of went with it really and marbled some purple into that um i didn't really use come what made for the actual color because we used a good color of a core powder so i didn't really need that but yeah so we just used it just to use it as a wet layer and then i'm going to go in with the purple marble that i've just created on my palette and we're just going to go with it and basically all we did was just hope for the best <laughs> Okay, so I'm just using my Magpie Ombre brush here to just pick up some of that marble. Um, these colours went together really, really well, actually. I was really happy with them. I didn't really mess around with it too much with this brush. I just wanted to get it on there. Um, we were going in all different directions. I was picking up different bits of the marble, so we had multiple different colours and just went with it, really. Um, and then at the end, I do go in with another brush just to blend it in just a little bit. Um but you could quite easily just leave it like this and not even go overboard like we did and add different things. Okay, so I just went in with this um, brush here. This brush is from one of the sets that I've had in a haul video before. Um, I did a haul video on it because it was from Amazon, uh, the set. It was like £15 or £12 for 15 
it was either £15 for 12 brushes or £12 for 15 brushes. I can't remember which way around it was, but they're really cheap and I actually really like them. So I was just using that here with a bit of Cum May on just to feather it out a little bit so it wasn't such a harsh line, which did turn out to be pretty pointless actually because we did end up outlining it anyway pretty much, but never mind. At this point, I didn't know what I was going to be doing next, so I just did this stage anyway. This one I just did marble a little bit more because I wasn't quite happy with how the pattern turned out on its own without me actually having any control over it. Like how I picked it up with the ombre brush was not how I liked the look of it. So I did have a little bit of a mess around with the brush. That's the best thing about marble though is obviously it is a wet design so you can just keep playing with it until you're happy and then once you are obviously I will put it in the lamp okay and then I'm going in with these two things from these two flakes from Tia's Beauty um, just to give it a little bit of dimension so we added a few flakes um i didn't want to take away too much from the marble itself so i did only put a couple of these flakes on um just to give it something more um luckily obviously i didn't actually use colored flakes so you could see the marble through them anyway so i was really happy with that and um, then i used the shards as well which are purple you'll see those in a second i put those just around the outlines of the marble and then towards the end i will go in with some foil um so here i put on a coat of clear give me strength from magpie beauty just for something for it to all sink into and then i can cure it after and they'll all be nice and stuck I will eventually be doing a video on my Tears Beauty collection because it's not huge, I will admit, but it is getting bigger by the day. I've got quite a few. I've got all of the shards, all of the holographic dusts, like quite a few glitters, some shapes here and there, some mylar, like just different random bits and bobs. So I am going to get all of that put together at some point because I'm going to be getting a new chest of drawers for my desk. If you've seen my desk tour or nail room tour, or whatever I called it, you'll see that I only have one chest of drawers and my drawers on my desk at the moment. I do want to have one either side of me now because I just have that much stuff. It's getting a bit cluttered. So I want to have a chest of drawers entirely for tears <laughs> just to keep everything in it. So I am going to eventually get those drawers hopefully soon from Ikea and then I will record filling them basically and then obviously in the process of that you'll see everything that I've got as well. I think that would be quite a fun video to do instead of just sitting on my own and doing it by myself. <laughs> Okay, so once I've finished putting those on and I've cured that, I'm now going in with a coat of velvet top coat from Blue Sky. I love this velvet top coat. It is a white one, so after you've finished, you do need to wipe off the tacky layer. Um, but this just helps because obviously I'm going to be going in with a foil gel um, to be able to apply some foils and just to stop it from sticking everywhere I don't want it, I just make sure that I've got a 
completely matte surface for me to paint on that so I'm not doing this in any particular like way I just literally just kind of threw it on just over that um outline basically of the marble I didn't want the shards to be like literally just pieces on the nail I wanted them to poke through behind the foil and things like that so we do go in with a foil over the top um and that's about it really for this set so I really hope you like it obviously I will top coat at the end with a gloss top coat which I think was don't be tacky um yeah so I hope you enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching I'm so grateful for everyone that subscribes and watches and everything um so yeah if you haven't already subscribed then please do it would mean a hell of a lot to me um and yeah I will be back in my next one so I hope everyone takes care of themselves and I'll be back soon bye